Welcome to part 3 of the Jazz Jackrabbit Let's Play. We're about to approach Medivo, but before we get into any of the gameplay stuff, I just wanted to start off by saying Happy New Year, uh, because it's 2020 now and it's actually pretty excited. Uh, I haven't uploaded anything for a while because um, I was actually on vacation. I was, uh, I went to the USA and uh, I, I actually had a lot of fun, but since I came back, I had a lot of issues with trying to fix my sleeping schedule actually but yeah back to jazz uh, it may look like I'm dying soon but spoiler alert I won't because this is actually a no death run something I haven't mentioned yet I think I believe which I should have but yeah this is actually gonna be a no death run of uh, the entire game which is actually pretty hard to do but you know we'll be fine and um, here you can see I'm trying to grab that shield but the thing is uh, I kind of forgot how to get that shield at this time and then I suddenly remembered like wait a second um, I have to go all the way around but yeah uh, the main enemies in Medivo actually what I like in general about Jazz is that every planet you visit has different types of enemies so there's a lot of variety in enemies but yeah the sword in this in this level medieval the enemies the two main enemies are the swords the flying swords and the turtles with the helmets I think they're turtles I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be turtles with helmets uh, in jazz 2 in the editor it's just called turtle helmet I think something like that but yeah uh, we just grab the hip hop, we have a shield, that means we have two extra hits. And the sword enemies actually are, for, for a first time player I guess, are kind of hard to deal with. Because um, Jazz, Jazz 1 suffers from screen crunch actually. Um, it's because Jazz, Jazz 1's resolution is, um, I believe it's 320 by 200 which is actually pretty small um, which means you have like a split second usually to react to um, enemies that come towards you and as you may have noticed as when we're like at top speed when we just run jazz is always in the center of the screen so you know like I said you have like little to no time to react to stuff but my solution actually for that is to just keep shooting <laughs> actually just hold down the shoot button it's actually okay because as you can see if you look at the ammo count we have like 400 toaster ammo we had a lot more for the bouncer and such like you have more than enough to just hold down the shoot but the shoot button and just kill everything and just not have to worry about the ammo but yeah we're on our first hoverboard section actually i love the hoverboard in jazz um it's just i've always liked hoverboards in general i just think it's cool and especially jazz riding it, it's like he, jazz is cool <laughs> the hoverboard is cool something i like about this hoverboard um which is actually a coincidence but it's a funny coincidence in my opinion uh, as you can see the stripes on it are green yellow and red which if you've played the second jazz game you know um, it's like jazz pass and lorry but jazz pass and lorry weren't even a thing at this point so I mean spass and lorry weren't even a thing jazz is clearly a thing uh, another thing actually is that as you can see we reached the end with the hoverboard which is actually not supposed to happen uh, at some point we were supposed to abandon the hoverboard in earlier versions of this game this that still works but in this version the CD version I'm playing it's 1.3 um, it it's broken so you can take the hoverboard to the end uh, or you can take the hoverboard in areas where you're not supposed to take the hoverboard in general it's 
it happens in some other levels as well because spoilers the overboard returns in multiple levels it's actually pretty fun um, but yeah uh, it's broken in this version and I'm not gonna complain about it because I like the overboard I think it's cool so I don't mind <laughs> but yeah uh, we have a lot of ammunition right now for like the AR of missiles and the toaster and the bouncer um, something I feel like I wasn't completely clear about is that ammunition does not count towards your items item completion when you're like at the result screen um, it's only the the things I referred to as stage collectibles in the previous parts only those count Towards, so you can just leave ammunition and still get the 100% ammunition is not a part of it it's just extra stuff for you to collect actually <laughs> but yeah this is actually one of those levels where if you have played like new Super Mario um, you know of actually Super Mario Bros 3 did it first but you know those levels where you keep the star man going by um, just grabbing the star man uh, as soon as you get the chance you know what I mean and this is one of those levels uh, you get you grab the invincibility you just rush through all the enemies and just shoot them kill them and you keep grabbing invincibility to um, to get through the stage actually so I like to think of this as one of those kind of levels in Mario's um, Mario not Mario's where you just keep the invincibility going by grabbing them getting to the next one as fast as you can and just continuing the killing spree I guess <laughs> and that's gonna be the end of Medivo 2 we got the 100% so we even killed all the enemies I didn't even think we killed all of them but yeah uh, we're about to go into our second bonus level in this episode or bonus stage a oh, bonus level bonus stage same thing <laughs> but if it looks like I'm I don't know what I'm doing in these bonus stages it's because I actually don't uh, <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm doing usually I just pick a side to go the path usually splits so um, I just pick a side to go and somehow miraculously get all 35 gems like I always get lost in these types of stages I don't know why I don't memorize these well I do memorize the ones in later episodes like episode a B those episodes because I play those episodes a lot actually I don't come back to these uh, to the earlier episodes often I guess but yeah here we get introduced to uh, jump pads actually those red circles on the road those are those make you jump automatically by just touching them um, those white gloves you saw uh, those hands I should say uh, those are just there to you know kill your speed I guess <laughs> uh, nothing happens if you touch them well you bounce off of them and trip I guess but it's not like the exit where just touching them boots you out of the bonus level so you know it's it's just annoying to uh, run into them but what I usually do is I just stick to the side of the road and you should be fine but yeah this is our first boss stage and like I said you want to use the RF missiles uh, to do quick damage really fast and this is actually one of the only bosses that has two faces or this is the only boss with two faces now that I think about it and like that the boss fight is over I couldn't even talk about the patterns or <laughs> you know the boss fight in general it's already over you just rush it and like I said if you have the RF missiles you can deal with them pretty quickly um, so yeah all the other bosses will go will end quickly as well 
I think there's only one boss in this run where I'm like, um, where it takes longer than <laughs> 10 seconds to beat, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, we didn't break any records. Uh, it's pretty hard to break my own score. I tried, it's not working out. But yeah, that was Turtle Terror and it's actually a pretty fun episode. Um, the next episode, we're going to do Ballistic Bunny, which has... Uh, one of my favorite levels, but it's also kind of obnoxious. I mean, it's also known for um, this glitch. Oh, you, you know what? We'll talk about it when we get to that. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next part.